Rotation in bowling is the same as rotation in golf. In golf, as you accelerate through the ball, you create backspin. And if you decelerate at the ball, you don't get backspin. That's why pros get backspin and amateurs don't. Because they're waiting and waiting and waiting and then accelerating to the finish. Pro bowlers do the same thing. We get that ball to the top. We don't just take it and move the ball with our body. We allow it to fall. And as it's falling and it gets right past our right leg, then we accelerate. So here's how it looks in slow motion. You see how that accelerate? That is where you get rotation. Acceleration through impact is rotation on the ball. It's not turn on the ball. Turn is a hand position or a rotation of the hand or variations of both. So I can rotate that sucker as hard as I want and then throw a backup ball doing it. Backup balls uh, dictated by my palm, but the rotation, the spin rate, is dictated by my rate of acceleration through the ball. You want more spin, then you get more acceleration. Now, the guys that are getting a lot of hook and a lot of rotation, they get their hand where it's cupped a little, kind of like you showed me just now when you cupped it. They're cupping it only because they're allowing this to fall all the way to here and then they can do a release, much like a football player goes from cupped to uncupped, right? A bowler goes from cupped to uncupped. So to get a football to spiral, you don't start out over here, it won't spiral. You start out here, then it will, right? So it's the same thing in most all the other sports. You can look at all of them and, and find similarities. Well, this similarity, spin rate, is from acceleration. So, if I want my ball to go from 17 to 2 and recover and get all the way back, first thing I've got to do is accelerate to get the rate of spin. But if my swing is, say, this high, and I come into here and accelerate, I'm going to overthrow the hook, just like hitting a, a putt through the break. So, I've got a lower. You remember I was telling you a little while ago about my setup now being lower? I'm lowering it to get a lower backswing lower ball speed so that now I can fire through and not over, overthrow that break. So what I want you to do now is set up exactly the same. Remember in every shot we've thrown today we've been in the same exact area directly with our forearms level to the ground. That is our medium speed. We want a higher speed we get up here, we want a lower speed we get down here. Well you threw that the ball in the gutter and you matched 17 to 2 exactly as we wanted. So now let's just lower the ball the, the, the starting position and accelerate through it. So let's set up to that and I'll show you. Great. I like when you started where you were in your medium and then you lowered. Now then, bring this toward me. Oh, not, not to where you, I want your arms. See, they were lower. Now leave them there and bring this toward me. See how now you're lowering the ball? Now let's get these to fall, to hang and to dangle. Nice. Now let's try to get a little bit of cup, but to float these elbows. You see how my elbows are not quite as big? Oh yeah. Now we're going to try to get this one. Remember, it's got to be right. Now set your ball down and I'll show you what, what is so uncomfortable. If you watch me on, on, on television, if I'm really hooking a ball, my left hand may be on the other side of the ball, okay? And I do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, if I'm both hands behind it, it's hard to find a spot to hold. So I cradle it, okay? Now my palms are wide open, exactly the opposite as I told you. But I'm now turning this, okay? Why is that okay when I'm hooking it? Well, I'll tell you why. The left hand is so much farther out in the front that it gives me a wide open chest. Well, I'm going to hook it. I need a wide open chest. Now, watch my feet. I'm going to ma ma uh, uh, match the, the wide open hands with my feet. So I'm not going to be here. I'm way back here with this right leg matching. You see what I mean? And I can take my hand right out of it which is the beauty 
of getting on the other side. Now, if you look at Bob Hanley, banking Bob Hanley a long time ago, you may not even be old enough to remember him, but he was down in this area. Now I can watch all of the big, big hook players back then. And their left hand was almost all the way on the other side of that ball. Remember Marshall Holman down here? All right, that's what we're trying to do. Let's see, let's go all the way over this way. All the way over. Now then, let's drop this to there. Can you take your right hand out? You see how, all right, you see how now this, this really got cupped? Well, that's okay. We're going to fix that in a minute. I've already seen that. But you see how now this, when you get it down in here, you see how that left arm can almost hold the ball? All I'm doing when I get in there is I had to find a spot. Because all of them felt bad. All of them felt bad for a while. This I'm giving you as your task. You just got to find a comfort of how can I hold the ball with the left hand only and hold it this far down, almost knee level. Now that looks pretty good. Doesn't look very comfortable yet, but you can always go, wait a minute, you can always go here, you see? You can do a lot of these things with just, it, well, all you're trying to do is personal preference here. You're wanting to hold it lower, you don't mind the left hand getting out in front, and you gotta find a comfort zone because it, it was difficult for me to do. But when it comes, it'll be very, very comfortable to you. Now then, we're gonna take an approach like this and we're going to allow the swing to go on its own pace and when the ball passes your right leg, I want you to accelerate. Let's see if we can get any more hook. Nice. All right, sweet. Thank <laughs> you.